Putin is leading Russia to demographic catastrophe due to war in Ukraine. Russian leader Vladimir Putin is leading the Russian Federation to a demographic catastrophe, writes the Telegraph columnist Francis Dianli. If anyone knows how to falsify figures to support weak causes, it's the Kremlin, he says. From Stalin's manipulation of Soviet productivity statistics during the five-year plans to Khrushchev's Cold War exaggeration of his missile numbers, no organization has been so effective at fabricating facts to demoralize, confuse and outwit opponents. Today, likewise, Putin points to Russia's 144 million citizens and claims through his propaganda mouthpieces, that it is impossible for Kyiv to win his war given that Ukraine's population is a paltry 37 million, the author notes. He points out that by this logic, the figures released by British intelligence this week, that Russia has lost more than 70,000 troops in the last two months, became irrelevant. Russia can always find more people, is how people justify Western inaction. We have been brought up on documentaries about the unstoppable Russian bear capable of tearing its way through Eastern Europe as it did during the Second World War and we forget that this is impossible in modern Russia. For Moscow it is not even desirable, said Dianli. He explains that Putin remains cautious both about the number of men he recruits and where they come from, prioritizing recruitment in poor communities far from Moscow and St. Petersburg. But Moscow's caution in this regard means it is obliged to empty its prisons, exonerating murderers and rapists so they can serve in the Russian army of mercenary forces. That resource is not infinite, however. Moscow is already turning to women's prisons. But these are still relatively minor obstacles when viewed against broader trends. Russia's conscription age population of 14 million is not gigantic since many of them are ineligible or undesirable for recruitment for geographical reasons, their numbers are further reduced. The journalist continues. He emphasizes that the full-scale invasion has deepened Russia's demographic crisis. Thus, the fact that 350,000 Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded in the two and a half years since the full-scale invasion testifies to the scale of the catastrophe. Russia is not as powerful as the Soviet Union. Roughly half the Soviet population came from countries that are non-Russian today and even then, although twice as powerful in numbers, it lost the war in Afghanistan in the 1980s. This conflict highlights that military size is only part of the equation. Indeed, many of the vital components needed to win wars, such as military adaptability and modern technology, works in Kyiv's favor, the author concludes. Fire that started in a reserve in Russia's Krasnodar region has spread to an area of 62 hectares, local telegram channels reported. The territory of the nearby Fregat Recreation Center has been completely burned, and the territory of the Romantic Recreation Center seriously damaged during the attack. More than 500 people were evacuated from the area. The resident in Durso settlement have received evacuation warning from the authorities. Helicopters and 8-4 equipment have been brought to the area to extinguish the fire. Strong wind prevents the fire from being extinguished. Fire broke out in the natural reserve in Abraudayurso in Krasnodar region on Sunday. The fire that started in the Tsukaya Shell reserve due to hot weather, initially covered an area of 10 hectares and reached a touristic center in the fire station. Some 220 people resting at the nearby Galabaya Volna Center have been evacuated.